Welcome to the Blue Planet Ethernet Service Activation Solution Demonstration. After setting the stage, we will show you some of the setup procedures and Ethernet order to service automation steps that accelerate time to revenue, reduce OPEX, and improve customer satisfaction. Carry Ethernet services are universally popular, and Ethernet technology is deployed everywhere, from customer premises to service provider access and metro networks, in data centers and private WANs, Ethernet dominates. And it continues to grow in popularity and evolve to support demanding applications such as business VPN and internet access, wireless backhaul, and carrier wholesale access services. Unfortunately, while Ethernet services and use cases continue to expand, Ethernet service design and provisioning processes have not kept pace. In fact, these processes have changed very little in the past decade and are typically slow, piecemeal, and error prone. For example, engineers must manually design the service using multiple offline systems and information sources that often contain stale data. Once the design is complete, each element or domain in the end-to-end -end service path must be independently configured utilizing disparate management systems or domain controllers. In this very simple example, the operations administrator must use three different tools, each with a different interface to provision a service. Complex swivel chair management and manual activities inefficiently consume valuable resources and often result in configuration errors. These legacy service activation methods are out of sync with today's market demands. They add cost and weeks of delay to the order to service process, negatively impacting a network operator's competitiveness and profitability, as well as customer satisfaction. The Blue Planet Ethernet Service Activation Solution helps providers overcome these challenges with state-of-the-art technology that accelerates Ethernet order to service by automating the end-to-end -end service design and provisioning process across multiple domains. It supports multi-vendor networks through a set of resource adapters, or RAs, that abstract vendor-specific device models and management interfaces. The solution is ideal for forward-looking network providers that offer Ethernet business, wireless backhaul, or wholesale access services, and, with payback in well under one year, avoids the cost and risk associated with large-scale IT and operational transformation projects. In the following demo of Blue Planet Multi-Domain Service Orchestration, or MDSO, we will show the creation of ADVA, RAD, and Sienna domains, followed by the automatic discovery of the Sienna devices managed by the Blue Planet MCP domain controller and the addition of ADVA and RAD devices to their respective domains. We'll then show the automatic discovery of existing services that traverse those three domains and the promotion of one of those services to subsequently allow it to be managed by Blue Planet MDSO. Next, we'll show how to add a new bandwidth profile to create new E-Line and E-Access services, to visualize a service, and finally to terminate a service. After logging in, I'm presented with the Blue Planet dashboard. Here we see that there are no services, and the only domain listed is the default workflow manager. A domain is a group of physical and logical resources under a single administrative umbrella. The first thing we'll do is create a network domain for each vendor in our network. To do so, I click on the orchestration and domains. From here, I click on the Create button and I'm presented with a list of previously added resource adapters. Corresponding to the types of devices or domain controllers in my network, these RAs contain the translation intelligence to enable common Blue Planet UI or API instructions to work across a disparate set of vendors. Let's start by adding an ADVA domain. We give the domain a title and description. If the ADVA domain were orchestrated through an NMS or domain controller, we'd enter its IP address here for the access URL. Since the Blue Planet RA will interface directly with each ADVIT device, we instead use the internal default address. We select the master tenant ID as the network has not been sliced, skip the optional location details, and click Create. This will go ahead and create the domain, which you'll see after we refresh the screen. We can then proceed to create an MCP domain. Since Blue Planet orchestrates the Sienna devices through their domain controller, 
we need to point the domain to the IP address of the MCP domain controller. We select the same master tenant and then enter the username and password required for Blue Planet to log into MCP. Skip the location and click Create. Finally, we'll create a RAD domain in a similar manner as the ADVO domain. Now that we see that all the domains have been created, let's go ahead and check the MCP domain. On the right hand side, we see Blue Planet is adding resources it is discovering to its inventory. This includes network elements, their ports, service flows, and other resource types it can manage as defined in the RA. If I click on inventory, we see on screen six Sienna 5142 or 5160 switches, as well as one of their many ports that has been automatically discovered, Gigi port 13 on that first 5142. The next step will be to add the information we needed to communicate directly with ADVA and RAD devices so that we can add them to their respective domains in lieu of a domain controller. Under the advert domain, we click on products. Products in this context are resource types that can be instantiated, deployed, or managed by Blue Planet through the Adva RA. The first thing we need to instantiate is a session profile that will define how the RA will gain access to one or more devices in this domain. There are no existing profiles, so we click Create. We give the profile a name, type group is automatically populated. Authentication is where we enter the username and password that will be used to log into the device. And we can keep the connection host port as the default. Once I click on create, the resource will be created. And if I refresh the screen, we'll see that the new session profile shows up in the UI. The next step is to create a network function. Addition of a network function means that we'll be adding an ADVA device to this domain. We give the device a label and optionally a description. Then under the equipment tab, we select a session profile and enter the IP address of the ADVA device. We can optionally include the resource type expected, which will raise a flag if a mismatch is detected. And then click Create. Let's click on the device we just added to check the details. While not shown in this video, I similarly added a RAD device to the RAD domain I created earlier. As devices are discovered or added, Blue Planet continuously discovers service fragments within each domain and stitches cross-domain services together. As you can see here, Blue Planet has discovered over 20 network services. We can go ahead and check those services by clicking on Network, All Services, and see that it has now discovered 24 services. Once discovered, we can then promote one or more of the services in order to allow Blue Planet to subsequently manage its lifecycle. From the list of services, we select the service that we want to promote, click on Details, to verify it is the correct service. As you can see, it is in the assembled and not active orchestration state. And then click on Promote. Once the service is promoted, you can see that the orchestration state has turned to active, which means that its lifecycle is now being managed by Blue Planet. Now let's create a new eLine service between ADVA and RAD endpoints over the Siena Metro network by choosing Carry Ethernet Service Facade from the product catalog. Once there, we click on the Create button give the service a label and service identifier. 
and choose eLine from the Service Type drop-down menu. This dynamically loads the appropriate form for entering the service parameters. Since it is an eLine service, we select UNI or UNI on the A end, select the add a device that we added earlier, select the port, input the customer VLAN identifier, and select a bandwidth profile for the A to Z direction. A set of bandwidth profiles is something I would have created earlier in Blue Planet. In this example, I input parameters such as committed and excess information rate and burst size, selected color awareness, and gave it the label gold. Similarly, on the Z end, we select uni, select the red device, select the port, Input the customer VLAN identifier and select a bandwidth profile for the Z to A direction. Blue Planet can automatically assign an SVLAN ID to the flow to encapsulate the customer's traffic, with an unused SVLAN ID sourced from its own repository or from an external system through an API. We then click Create. This creates the service resource. When the time comes to activate the service, we go to Network. EBCs, select the service you want to activate, click on Details, click on Operations, and Create Service, and then Run. Now let's create an e-access service between the ADVA endpoint and the Sienna 5142 node, which is connected to an internet gateway router. We click on Carry Ethernet Service Facade from the product catalog. Once there, we click on the Create button, give the service a label and service identifier. This time we'll choose eAccess from the drop down menu. We select Uni on the AN. Select the AVA device, select the port, input the customer VLAN identifier, and select a bandwidth profile for the A to Z direction. On the Z end, since it is an e-access service, we select ENNI, select the Sienna 5142 device, select the port connected to the internet router, input the customer VLAN identifier, and select a bandwidth profile for the Z to A direction. We then click to create the service resource, which we may then subsequently activate. Now let's visualize the eLine service that we created earlier. We select the service and click on Details. In Blue Planet displays the topology abstracted to the domain level. Blue Planet accurately designed and configured the end-to-end -end path from ADVA through Sienna to RAD based on the service intent that we gave it in the user interface, without me having to manually interrogate various information sources, swiveling among multiple network management systems, or inputting arcane commands using an error-prone CLI. We can then highlight the different ports and links that comprise the service to see the properties and any notifications about each resource. Finally, we can terminate one of the Ethernet services that we previously either promoted or created by going to the Carry Ethernet Service Facade screen and selecting the service we wish to terminate. Let's choose the eAccess demo service, click on Delete, and confirm the action. We see that the service has been deleted. By eliminating the delays, inefficiencies, and costs associated with traditional Ethernet service design and provisioning processes, the Blue Planet Ethernet Service Activation Solution delivers significant positive business results such as reducing the order to service interval by several weeks and associated OPEX by up to 85%. These advantages contribute to a payback in well under one year, all without the inherent risk, delay, and costs associated with testing, qualifying, and implementing a large-scale IT and operational transformation project.